What's up guys, we are headed out. This is one of our, basically our last trip with my brother Connor while he's here visiting for the last two weeks. And today we are going into our home waters inshore fishing on our flats boat. It's gonna be a little bumpy offshore. So we're headed inshore. We're gonna see if we can get on some big sharks and some other cool stuff and get him the last fish he wants to catch before he goes back to San Diego. You bring a drone? Yeah. Ready big sea? Always. Can't see ya. Oh, what's up? I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's get it. Ready to catch some sharks? Oh, hell yeah. Full send, baby. Let's go, to our Sizzle. Whoop, whoop. Yeah. Crack canoe fishing team reporting for duty. It's like 10 a.m. Couldn't hear if you're new to the channel. You ready to catch a fish now? Yes, they do. They, they want to make fun of you. Plenty of YouTubers don't go fishing. <laughs> That's them. You're an actual fisherman. Beautiful boy. It's a beautiful day. Family's going out. Ready, Connor? Ready. All right. It's Connor's last day. It's Saturday, so we slept in a little bit, which I enjoyed. All right, let's go do it. So tell us what you're doing there, Sizzle. Cut in a nice chunk of bonita we had in our freezer. Stinky, bloody bonita is always, always perfect for sharks. And I'm just gonna, you see this little small piece because we're gonna be targeting inshore sharks today, not the giant ones that live offshore. There are decent sized ones inshore, of course, up to five feet, six feet long, all swimming in the sandbar area. You see how I just rigged that? You really want that hook point exposed so the fish gets hooked. And so it's gonna lay like that on the bottom. Actually, this one has a balloon, so it's not going to be on the bottom. The one I just cast out is laying on the bottom. This one will be suspended and kind of drifting back with the wind and the current that we have. And the sharks will come along, smell our chum, hopefully eat our bait, and hopefully we'll catch a bunch with Connor and then maybe even tag some for Noah, uh, which is pretty cool. We'll get little tag numbers and put a dart in them. Yeah, here inshore in Boynton, we're really targeting black tip sharks and spinner sharks. The balloon uh, just went out. The balloon just, I just, I didn't blow up a balloon very well. We gotta redo that, but no big deal. But anyway, I used about 250 pound to 400 pound mono, depending on what I got laying around. And uh, we put one on the bottom and one with a balloon. So we work in the water column a little bit. And again, uh, black tips and spinners. The record for black tips in Florida is 150 pounds or so. 152, I think. Yeah. So uh, that's, I mean, that's the biggest we're gonna get probably in here. Yeah. But uh, we're right next to a sandbar, right below these houses where people swim and, and water ski and there's a beer can is right here. So, uh, you know, there's sharks everywhere in Florida and we're gonna show you here hopefully. And, and Connor wants to get a couple before he goes back to the Marines. Hoorah. Hooked up, y'all. Hooked up. Let me see it, let me see it, let me see it. Do you see him jump? Yeah, right there. Shark, right? I don't know. Right. Yeah, definitely a shark. shark. Woo! Taking a smoking run. Try to reel. He just stripped that drag pretty good. We got really light drag intentionally, so that way that when a shark runs, he kind of sets the hook on himself with the circle hook, of course. So now Connor's going to try to pump this fish in. I had really light drag, so he spun out like half the reel. Like it is down to, oh, it took a lot of yards. So Connor's got a while to go on this fight. Don't drop that rod too fast. You want to keep that line tight. Yep, good job, perfect. All right, so first shark is coming into the boat. Pretty confident as a shark. We're going to find out what it is though. Black tip or spinner shark. That did not take long at all. Sharks jump, right? <laughs> yeah, spinner sharks jump, black tips jump too. Right, 10 bucks is a spinner They all shark. jump. 10 they bucks is a jump. spinner? Yeah. All right, who are you betting, me or Darcy? The fans. <laughs> <laughs> the fans. That's all. So if he wins, he gets like ten dollars from like so many people. I'll yeah. bet you. You want to bet ten dollars? Um, how about our friendship on the line? <laughs> <laughs> our friendship was on the line with this fish guy. Connor. Connor must really value it. There's a 50-50 chance that he's gonna lose a friend. That's nice, Connor. I really feel good. <laughs> ten bucks. Ten bucks is too much. But the French friendship, no problem. Oh my That's god. Nice. <laughs> no, we gotta do a real bet. I wish that we did a real bet. We gotta win too. Whoever whoever loses has to pay 
for the gas in the boat today, which I, I can't, I pay for the gas in the boat every day. We're, and you guys helped a lot, of course. Thank you, again, as usual. It's all you. All right, Connor, let's get this fish in. That is a nice shark, Connor. He's not done. Nice job. Nice shark. Nice one for inshore. We're going to tag him, let him go. Come on up, handsome. He's running. What, Brian? This fish is not done. Come up here. It's going to take a minute here. Nice shark. It's a nice full, it looks like a black tip, right? We'll have to see when we pull him out, get the hook out. Come follow him, follow him. Don't let him get in that tow motor. Never mind, he's not done. Fish is not done. Fish is working, Connor, today. Woo! Yep, now pull the rod tip the other way. Behind his tail, pull the rod tip that way. Yep, yep, perfect. Now you're turning. Now he's got to fight against that line. You see that? You see how he's turning? He's fighting the line now. Yep, good job. Pull him back this way. Oh, you should be able to get him in the piece. Yeah, now I should tire. be able to get him now, hopefully. Reel down on that leader. All right, now we'll Bring come towards sizzle. me. He's got another hook in his mouth. I can't get it out. All right, we got to get it. both hooks out. All right, I got it. All right, I just don't have the leverage. I'm. All right, all right, all right. All right no I feel myself gonna slip, or all I right, just, just. If I could grab his tail, I could, but it's really awkward, man. All right. All right, back up. Let me get, grab that from you, I guess. Watch the line, watch the line, oh. Connor. We're messing around too long. Anyways, I don't know what happened there. I thought it was right in the corner. Line broke. We'll get another. Let's get lines right back out. We gotta get another. Oh boy. <sighs> All right, that one bit right through the line, through the mono. We're using mono leaders because, you know, these sharks usually handle it. And if they bite it off and they get released easy, that's, that's no problem. So uh, we get the balloons out again and uh, see what happens here. I just saw movement by the yellow balloon. But I don't know if that was a fish. Maybe it was just a wave. Double up, double up. Grab it, Connor. Grab it? Yeah. That's him. Are you guys doubled up? No. Try right. and raise this. Yep, you're good. All right. Connor's got a fish on. We're going to see what it is. Balloon just popped off, and now it's taking a nice run. Let me lock that bail a little more. Nice. Now it's taking a nice run. We got a lot of crab traps in the area. Did it jump? Yeah. Keep that line tight. Don't stick it too high. Good job. Good job. Nice little splash action there. We got all these crab traps too, so we're just gonna see if we can maneuver this shark away from the traps. You're really gonna try to fight him, Connor. Pay attention where he's going and keep him away from those traps if you can. So this is gonna be difficult, but we can make it happen. All right, second shark. Let's see if we can get this one to the boat. Here comes Connor's shark. Another nice one. All right, bring him over, Connor. Back it up. All right. You're going to bring the leader to me, and you're going to back up. Y'all are crazy. Ooh, hold the rod, Tip. Hold the rod. Hold the rod. He's going to run. There you go. Good job. Should just pulled him up. I got all wet. It's pretty green. I got a little wet. Yeah, he's green. Reel down. Go down on that leader. Yep. Keep reeling. Yep. Watch your feet. Here he comes. Here he comes. Woo! Shark on the boat, shark on the boat, shark on the boat! Woo! Chill out, buddy, chill out! Woo! Nice job, Brian. Hey, Wrestle that shark. Turn this way a little bit, maybe? Hang on. Hold on, let me just see if I can get it out. I was gonna pull across his teeth like that. Coming. Okay. It's gotta be pulled this way. I got it. I got most of it. All right. All right, hooks out. Just got it out. Now we're going to tag him and get him back in the water here. We are going to measure this shark real quick and then we're gonna put a dart tag in him 
Get Connor a couple pictures, let him go here real quick. Let's go. Go to the to the fork of the tail. Fork. fork. What's that measure? Forty-five. Forty-five, and, and then to the tail. The end of the tail. Forty-five, fifty-three. Forty-five, fifty-three. All right, I'm gonna make a little incision here. Not too deep, just a little incision. Sorry, just dropped that knife on the ground. And then that's just gonna help me insert this right under the muscle. And the shark will be fine. Perfect, good to go. That's exactly what you want. We got the dart tack number, we got our measures. And this is a male, sorry, this is a male. And this looks like, is it a black tip? It doesn't have the black on there. Maybe it's a splinter. It's a, it's a black tip. Is it? No, no, no black means a black tip. Oh, that's right, duh, duh. I always get that confused. <laughs> yeah. I always get that confused. <laughs> All right, Connor, you okay? You saw me do it. You're, You're good. good Hold his tail and just support his belly and put his head right into the water. Good job. Hang on to him for a second and let him kick off. He's gonna be fine. He's gonna be okay. Let him go, let him go. There he goes. Oh, he just took off like a bullet. Nice, sick, running straight that way. Nice job, good work, teamwork, all right. Good job, Connor's Brian. first shark of the, sh of the trip here. Not bad for an inshore shark, you know, it's just crazy the amount of sharks that are in the water. It doesn't matter where you're at, whether it's two foot of water or the deep sea, sharks everywhere. So nice male black tip for Connor. I'm gonna mark those measurements down. We're gonna get lines right back out. I got a boo-boo. Oh yeah, I forgot to say Brian's shark rash. That is going to be hurting later. Ooh, I've learned my lesson well from those things. On the X-Wrap, I just raised the drag a little bit. Just stay real, don't pump. Don't wanna pop them off. Okay, we have got a fish on. We have a high tide, actually a low tide, and there's a full moon today, so we're doing our very best. After we caught those two sharks, the bite just shut off. So now we switched it up. We're just trying different areas, trolling some lures. And of course, we are hooked up on one of my favorite lures that have been killing it lately in this wintertime conditions. And Connor's reeling it in now. We're gonna see what it is. Something pretty decent. I didn't even have like the camera on or nothing. It was like dark, the first line Darcy put out the troll over here in this spot. We saw Connor caught a monster the other day. What is that? Snook. Holy cow, I can't believe you just caught a snook. All right. Let me see if I can get him on this. Of course, it's fucking. Dang it. Why can't What? I can't get him. All right, let's go. No. No? What the f Nice job, nice job. Keep that line straight up and just wait till he slows down and you should be able to reel. Okay, y'all, hooked up. Made a total Guggen mistake earlier when we hooked that snook just a little while ago. I lifted on him and he was only hooked with one barb and you don't do that when you, especially when a fish is barely hooked like that. And he popped right off. Totally a Guggen mistake. Should know better. We got a fish coming to the boat now. We're gonna see what it is. Here, oh. You can flip them in. Hey, we broke off the skunk though. We got a real fish. That's a nice jack. That's not a bad one at all. Nice little pounder there, maybe a little bigger. We're just throwing it, we're, we're trolling an assortment of different lures. And if you guys remember, Connor was on the boat about a week ago and we caught that slob of a snook, which is so sick. And we're pulling those lures again today. But this is actually a rapala that this guy ate. The big lip on it. If I can get him to calm down. If you guys didn't know, you can actually push in these dots right on a jack right here between their gill plates and they'll calm down for you. They'll stop shaking if you didn't know that. Kind of whatever reason, they just kind of chill and then you're able to work on them and get the hook out. Not a bad fish though. But there we go, there's Connor's jack. Probably just do the fish got the favor, release them. I'll probably keep them for stone crab trap bait, but let's just go ahead and release the fish. And we'll see what happens. Maybe we'll get on some more sharks here or some more fish. There he goes. And see what happens. But throwing back that fish, hopefully the fish gods are good to us the rest of the day today while we're fishing. Oh, it's a huge ladyfish. Oh my gosh. Sick. That was sick. <laughs> I actually did something for white, right, right for once and it's considered more of a trash fish or a poor man's tarpon. <laughs> that might be the biggest ladyfish I ever seen. The last two weeks when Connor's been here, we've caught some wild stuff, y'all, like that huge jack, that huge snook, 
those biggest catfish I've ever seen in my entire life. Just like really weird stuff. Connor caught the biggest cloud knife I've seen in my life. And now he's caught like the biggest ladyfish I've ever seen. That thing is monstrous. I thought it was a bluefish that he hooked. He was jumping all over the place. And big like a bluefish too. Dang. That is tarpon candy. I just wish he was a little smaller. I'd put him right back out. But he's going to be stone crab trap bait. Keeping this guy. I'm not doing anything. You're okay. so weird. <laughs> no, we're hugging everybody. Yeah. All right, this is another great video. Yes. <laughs> I'm making her hug me. Yes. Sorry. Yes, I'm being forced into a hug right now. <laughs> um, so we had a great video. Yes. And, and very importantly, Connor and my friendship was salvaged by losing that fish. Yes. <laughs> that was fun. Yes, it was. Yes, but we also just wanted to, we kind of decided we weren't going to make a video out of that trip, but we ended up, do, did make a video out of that trip because, you know, we're real with you guys, and even though we feel like we didn't catch enough fish or catch great fish in the video, we still want to show you guys that, like, every day you don't go out there and kill it, but we had an epic day! Connor caught fish, he wanted to catch a shark. Yeah, so we really we caught, achieved our goal. Yeah. You know, and I, I put on Twitter, you know, uh, we had put on Twitter that, you know, do you guys think we should make this video? It didn't have the greatest content or the greatest fish catching. And everyone says, you know, you got to show the good with the bad. So we try and do it on this channel. And, you know, one thing I've learned from fishing is you really have to enjoy the journey. You know, enjoy getting up in the morning. Enjoy loading the boat. Enjoy driving to the ramp. You know, otherwise you just can be miserable. You know, you have to enjoy every facet of it and just enjoy being outside in the water. We're all blessed. Exactly. Following yeah. our dream. And again, we got our goal. Connor caught that shark and then he left shortly after that. So Yeah, and we missed was... him. Uh, so he's not here right now. He's back working. And I also have to apologize to Darcy. I had a little bit, I had an aneurysm when we lost that he snook. Did. He when did. When she pulled that snook. He did. I was like, no, don't do that. Yes. And she didn't get the right net and it, yes. whatever, but and I, I overreacted. <laughs> yes, he overreacted like I overreact when I lose no, fish. I was or really I get mad. really mad. I, I get really mad, mad like, too, but really he's, mad. he's get. I guess I'm rubbing off on him. I'm making him upset about <laughs> losing fish over here. And then she caught but, the other um, fish in the net like a hoop, like a, my, a slam dunk. Yeah. The flying fish, lady fish. That was great. Yes. <laughs> Yes. But anyways, we don't want to drag this on too long. Um, stay tuned for some epic videos later this week. We should have an extra content, extra video for you all, for you guys to watch this week. So stay no tuned for me. that. And we are excited to bring you guys along for more adventures. So until our next one, follow, follow your dreams, dreams and, and keep, keep on, on catching. catching.